It's the land of Mission Control, Houston, Texas, where the Rockets are ready to engage in an interconference showdown. 2K Sports is proud to present NBA Basketball. Alongside Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. So here's Miami's starting group. At the 2-3, and three, the superstar duo of D-Wade and LeBron James. Shane Battier is out there with Chris Bosh, and it's Chalmers in at the point. And for the Rockets, Patterson plays down low with the Sheik. Jeremy Lin is out there with Harden, and it's Parsons in at the small forward position. When the big three formed, one of the first thoughts that followed was, who's going to play with them? In 2011, the bench was thin, but it got a little better last year, I thought, Kevin. And so the tip-off, it's Miami. Chalmers against Land. Bosch heads the pick for LeBron. Bosch kicks to LeBron. Ooh, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Look out below. Every jaw in this arena just went to the ground. And they're going to stay that way for a while, I think. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh what boy. a point. Stunning stuff, guys. That was incredible. And that last replay, courtesy of Sprite. Oh, and the jam high wave. What a play. Now we're cooking with gas, partner. My goodness. Yeah, a breathtaking display of aerial supremacy, no doubt. It's almost unfair, guys. I mean, when you can get up that high, that's crazy. Yeah, I agree, Clark. You know, the Heat were able to add a little bit of depth last season. They would need to because Bosch got hurt in the playoffs. Yeah, but, you know, it was interesting. For most of the season, it seemed like uh, there just wasn't enough depth, but uh, eventually it came through in the playoffs. Shane Battier played extremely well in the finals. Haslam came through for them. Mike Miller had a, an unbelievable game five uh, to close out Oklahoma City. So the depth was sort of shaky there for a while, but ultimately it paid off. Yeah, that's a low percentage shot right there. Yeah, it sure is. I mean, he's got to be thinking out there a little better. Make the pass in that situation. Don't force a bad shot. It's LeBron with the drive. Good. You know, if he's got the ball in his hands and the basket in his sight, he's going straight to the right. Here's Lynn. And, you know, guys, Mario Chalmers has been a good fit in Miami as that point guard because he doesn't need the ball in his hands all the time. LeBron and Wade can handle it. He can spot up and, and take threes. And then at the other end of the floor, he's a scrappy defender as well. That's all the space he needs, guys. He'll make you pay every time if you give him that shot. Wade kicks to LeBron. That falls. Nice feed that time from Dwayne Wade. And that's now six points for LeBron. And, you know, you look at a guy like Mario Chalmers. I mean, some of his weaknesses as a player are minimized playing for the Heat. He's not a great finisher or an elite playmaker, but again, he can leave that to LeBron and D-Wade to create and play off of those guys. It really helps his game. LeBron drives in. The kick out to Bosch. Kicks it to Chalmers. He dishes it to Battier. Pass to Bosch. He feeds it to LeBron. And another basket for Miami. Confidence grows when you start a game as hot as he has. And he's picking the right shots, guys. I mean, he's making it happen four for four from the field and just taking good shots. Now here's Lynn. Cuts to the middle. That is good. I think one of Lynn's best attributes, Kevin, is his ability to score and finish through contact. You know, he's got deceptive strength to his lower body. He's able to maintain that balance in the paint even after he gets bumped and finish plays. Well, that balance you talk about with the added strength helps him defensively as well because he's underrated at that end. He might not have the size and reach to lock guys up, but he plays a very smart defensive game. Here's Parsons. Here's a sheep. The shot is off. Now the Heat take it the other way. Deflected. Stolen by Jeremy Lin. Harden. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot too. And the offense is getting right to the rim, but at least they saved the layup with the foul. That's old school basketball rules. I mean, at the end of the day, no easy layup. Earn it from the line. You know, Houston for the last several years has tried to get a star player on the roster. 
uh, but it's so difficult to do. There's only about 10 of them in the entire league. But what they've done is they've, they've put a, a lot of good players on the floor. They've built their asset base, and they're poised to make a deal when the right one comes their way. There's 31 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Charity stripe shot. The shot's good from Douglas. The Heat have gone 7-8 from the field to start the game. Very hot shooting. Kicks it out to Al. Pass to LeBron. It's a look. Lewis. Fires for three. And the Heat, another three. For three. Douglas with it. Straight up. Count the bucket. Douglas has got his second bucket. And no mistakes on the offensive execution there. No good trying to beat the buzzer. And at the end of one, both teams putting up some points.